Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Ba ba boom! Welcome to Sportsbit Betting Insight today, Friday, December 1st. Today's show all about the NFL weekend. We'll start as we do every day with bad beats, bad bets, and bad for the books from last night. And it starts with the Washington Redskins against the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, a ton of Redskins money last night. Heavy on Washington Redskins bet from plus one and a half, minus one and a half. There were minus twos out there uh, by kickoff. And Washington was out of it early. They made it easy on the boys. Four turnovers uh, for uh, Kirk Cousins and company in that ballgame. Another Cluster injury problem for the Redskins on the offensive line. Dak Prescott didn't do anything special last night. What, 102 passing yards. But Alfred Morris ran for 127. They didn't miss Zeke Elliott last night. Tyron Smith was blowing open holes. And Alfred Morris was running behind them. Impressive performance for the Cowboys. Cowboys and over cash. Redskins backers, they had a wrong side in that one. Another bad bet last night. The Blazers off a successful. Uh, road trip, return home, Moda Center, and boy, <laughs> they took a ton of money against the Bucks. Uh, Portland bet up from minus two and a half. They were minus four, minus four and a half. There were a couple of minus fives out there uh, by tip-off. Uh, the Bucks took control earlier this one. They led by 21. Entering the fourth quarter was all garbage time. Milwaukee and the Greek Freak right now are a team I've got my eye on. Early season, they had their hiccups. Bledsoe's worked into the rotation right now. I think there's a lot of upside for the Milwaukee Bucks moving forward. The markets didn't think so last night. Those that bet against Milwaukee paid the price. A couple of games that were real bad for the books, the Cavs-Hawks. That over got steamed up, 215.5, up to 218, even higher in some spots. Well, landed 235, all the over money cashed. James and Love, uh, with a combined 49 points to get the win, but defensively, Cleveland's issues are still very, very real. Atlanta, 51.9% from the floor uh, last night, helping that game fly over the total of bad results for the books. And one in college hoops, Seton Hall. Uh, the odds makers didn't appreciate, I think, how much Madison Square Garden means to the Pirates. Uh, the markets did. <laughs> Seton Hall was bet from plus one against a resurgent Texas Tech team that's playing a whole lot of defense in early season play. Their statistical profile was impressive. The markets didn't care. They were betting the Pirates. A three-and-a-half point move towards Seton Hall. Seton Hall wins by 10 in that contest, covering easily as two-and-a-half point chalk. And one middle worth talking about, you know the drill by now. When the game falls right in the middle of the move, Missouri opened minus two. They closed minus four-and-a-half against Central Florida. Landed three. Probably not as bad for the books as it would have been if it landed four. <laughs> A lot more of that Missouri money would have cashed. but. When it lands in the middle, these betters in the one side cash, and there was significant buyback on UCF in that ballgame. It wasn't like it was all Missouri money. Once the market hit the peak, money came in on the nights. The books did not enjoy the middle between Missouri and UCF. As we do every Friday during football season, it's time to look at the pros versus the Joes in the NFL. These are my takes. You know, I go uh, uh, based on uh, obviously living in Las Vegas, you talk to people all week, uh, you read things all week. And this is my take on who the pros are on and who the Joes are on this week. The pros, rough week last week, 0-3. And frankly, you know, all the money the pros made in the NFL this season came over the first six, seven weeks of the season. The last month has not been good. Uh, early money came on the 49ers. They didn't think Chicago deserves to be favored by more than a field goal. The Broncos and their statistical profile has impressed uh, betters. We have the Green Bay Packers who've taken a lot of money against Tampa, although Initially, people thought it might be cold. Now the game time temperature for Jameis Winston and the warm weather Bucks, looking close to 50 degrees at Lambeau in December. Uh, the Saints have taken the money against uh, Carolina. Carolina's offensive number is not pretty. And the wise guys also backing the Philadelphia Eagles. The wise guys on the Eagles uh, this week. Tons of Eagles money. Uh, that line bet up from the opener now sitting at five and a half. We'll preview that game when it comes to big game breakdown. The Joes. They've been hot. You know how the public has been covering <laughs> over the course of the last month. I've got them at 15-4 and four with three pushes over the last five weeks, including another winning week 
uh, last week, the Joes, eh, I'll take a little Green Bay. Uh, not excited about the Tampa side of the equation. Of course, the Packers covered last week. Chargers, uh, they're betting against Cleveland every week. The Raiders, obviously the Giants benching Eli uh, Manning. has gotten a lot of pub this week. And the Rams have been a Joe team all year. And frankly, Joe's have been writer about the Rams, writer about the Rams than the, uh, than the pros have. So no surprise really with any of the pros versus Joe's. I'm actually surprised the consensus numbers for the Eagles aren't higher. Uh, I thought that the, this Eagles streak that many recreational bettors have been riding uh, would continue. But uh, the point spread with Philly minus five and a half, minus six, apparently has kept many of the Joes off the Eagles side this week, although they've been riding Philly pretty consistently during their extended ATS run. When we come back, it's big game breakdowns. Four huge games from the NFL this weekend right here on SportsBit. Betting Insight today from SBRPicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.